Change requires bulletproof confidence. Mm -hmm. Here's what's going to happen, y'all. Some of you guys could be inspired right now. Y'all could feel motivated, y'all could feel driven, y'all could feel excited. But then you got to face the real world. Mm -hmm. Then you got to face those partners. Mm -hmm. Then you have to face your family. Mm -hmm. Then you have to face your job. And guess what? If you're not able to look at yourself in the mirror and have this conviction of who you are, you're always going to live your life based on the perception of you and not the reality. I was talking to this man about that. We was in Philadelphia over the weekend, and I'm like, yo, bro. He's like, yo, bro, what does it take to change? What does it take to change? And I said, at some point, you have to disassociate from the problem. Yeah. 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 You have to. And if I'm selfish for wanting to better my life, if I'm selfish because I want to be the best version of myself, that means that you do not love me to begin with. That means that you're addicted to the need that I bring to the table. Who is in your life because they're addicted to the convenience of you because of the need? Let's take away the need. Let's take away the convenience. And are those people still going to be there? Most of the time, they're not. So guess what? These are the people that we're willing to sacrifice ourselves for. I told myself, I'm not sacrificing myself for nobody. Do I love my family? Yes. Do I love my son? Yes. Do I love my girl? Yes. Do I love my daughter? Yes. But I love me more. And nobody will take me away from me. That's right. I'm not going to lie. I feel bougie right now. I got a clicker. I'm like, ah! ah. First time I ever had a clicker. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So, no, I'm serious though. They gave me a clicker. I, like, I thought that they were going to be running the thing. They gave me a clicker. And I literally was like, well, I'm open to act in a part. I'm going to go back to it and wow! Hit him with it! Hit him with it! The, you know, the dagger right now, this boy is holding on for dear life. <laughs> so, the only reason why I'm wearing a turtleneck is because I'm trying to sweat these clowns for tonight. <laughs> is a milestone, is a stepping stone, showing you what's going on in your internal world. We want our external world to be paradise, while our internal world is hell. <laughs> you guys feel me? It doesn't matter what car you drive. If your mindset while you're in that car is broken, the car is broken. It doesn't matter what house you have. If the mindset in that house is broken, the house is just a house, it's not a home. Your perception on things is what determines the quality of your life. Your perception of things is what determines the quality of your life. You go somewhere like DR, people have nothing, yet they're the happiest people in the world. Why? Because they value what they actually have. We want, we want, we want, we want, we want. Have you taken care of what you got blessed with already? Already. The difference between greatness and average is that average knows what they should do. The average, we all know we should go to the gym. We all know that we should be faithful. We all know that we should be happy. We all know that we should be positive. We all know that we should be successful, right? But the moment that that should turns into a must, that's when the ball game changes. So that it has to happen, I mean, it really has to happen once and for all. Once and for all. The excuses, they have to die. The justification has to die. The only way for you to get to your next level is by raising your standards, is by looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself, no mas, how dare I be broke? How dare I be broke? How dare I give myself permission to suffer? How dare I give myself permission to be anxious? How dare I give myself permission to be fearful? How dare I? How dare I? I had to look at myself in the mirror and tell myself, how dare you want to take your own life? How dare you want to be a product of your environment? You know how much I've been criticized because of my change? You know how much I've been judged because of my change? Mr. Mass, what is up? is to
to get the energy up exactly where it needs to be. Because if you guys think y'all gonna create miracles with your life with a little too low energy, y'all gonna lose your mind. Oh. Oh. We come in here to take the pacifier out of the mouth, to take the blanket out of the body, to look at ourselves in the mirror and say it's time to change the cycle. But let me ask you this question. Does the cycle of being broke, having bad credit, does it end with you? Start going in a little bit deeper. 